Okay, we learned the uh, sad news yesterday that Gord Downey of the Tragically Hip has been diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. There's been a huge outpouring from music fans, sending well wishes and sharing memories. Um, Randy, why do you think the Tragically Hip hold such an important place in Canadian culture? Because they never tried hard to hold that place. That's why. Um, I say this as a kid who grew up in Oshawa and in the 90s was a teenager who, like everybody else in my high school, was obsessed with the Tragically Hip. And the fact that the, their music was full of references to Canadian history, to Canadian politics, to Canadian literature with the Hugh McLennan, with, with Courage mm -hmm. for Hugh McLennan. And, and all of those cases, those things were, were great, but they were incidental to the fact that they were just a good rock band that was having a good time and there was never anything earnest about it. Uh, I think you could just sort of enjoy it. I realize now, you know, I said, one of my students told me, oh, yeah, they hit, they're good. They're kind of like a dad band, right? Yes, <laughs> they, that's true. I'm yes. a dad, and I'll, I'll own that one happily, <laughs> right? They were, they were a great band, but there is never anything earnest about them. Like, like Drake is an earnest Toronto artist, right? We were supposed to love Toronto with him. They hit. They were they were completely at ease just being a Canadian rock band. Who cares whether they're big in the states or not? They just they, they made great music, and Canada was part of that. Yeah, you brought up the literary influence on the band, Emily. Maybe you can speak to this as well as music. Gord Downey uh, has also made a mark in the Canadian literary scene. Yeah, it's funny because like as a Canadian, I obviously know thirty hip songs off by heart just from radio play. Uh, but for me, like when I think of Gord Downey, I think of seeing him at events and the benefits he's done for Al Purdy's A Frame uh, mm. residency for poets to go write in the wilds of Ontario. And to me, that's a big part of his contribution is he got to be this cool rock guy and still, you know, do this thing where he really cared very deeply about very, very nerdy things, like about a specific strain of Canadian poetry that he himself published a book, Coke Machine Glow, um, kind of after these ideas. And I just think that's a really cool and very Canadian thing to be like, yeah, we toured everywhere. Also, please support your local libraries <laughs> and artist residencies. Uh, Rachel, people often bring up the fact that the hip uh, have been huge in Canada but never really broke yeah. uh, in America. Do you think that's uh, actually sort of helped their affection among Canadian fans? Yeah, I think so because I think there was never the sense of you know Canadian fame was 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 sort of the the you know the B choice, right? I think there was always that sense that Canadian fame was great, that being loved by Canadian fans was great, and if other fame came along. That's lovely, but that wasn't their core goal. Um, and I also think, you know, I don't want to eulogize, um, you mm -hmm. know, Gord Downey too early either, because I think one of the extraordinary things is that, you know, their decision to go on Absolutely, tour. Absolutely, yes. And I think that that is such a, an amazing affirmation of, of, you know, this following this band. I mean, the other thing is, like, the, the longevity of this band together, yeah. like, to have that kind of creative collaboration for such a long period of time is so rare. I think, you know, seeing the, all the different artists who've come out and expressed their well wishes to all the people that the band has influenced and has supported. So yeah, I think there was this sense that that um, y there is this sense amongst Canadians that the hip has always felt that Canada is important and Canada is great enough just as it is. And it's very rare. Like yeah. there aren't very many opportunities for you to listen to a rock band, like as to Randy's point, talking about Canadian history mm -hmm. and having it be the thing that's getting all the radio play and that is making sense of your world and only cares about us. And, and it never feels like kale, right? Like it never feels like <laughs> right. I, I'm supposed to like <laughs> yeah, this. Yeah, it's yeah. important to like this. It's just good music, yeah. right? And there's a reference to David Milgard in that. That's mm -hmm. you know that that it's incidental to mm -hmm. the fact that they're just making great music. Mm -hmm. I think we can leave that there. Thank you guys so much. Thank you.